Okay, keeping with the tradition of April Fools, I would suspect by now many of you, if not all of you, know that magnetizing aluminum is impossible. It just can't be done. Although it can react to an, a magnetic field, possibly, don't know, not a scientist. Let me show you how that actual video was uh, prepared and presented. So, thanks. Check it out. Prior to pulling the material off the shelf, the identical material, the half inch diameter 6061 aluminum, was chopped into small random lengths and pockets were drilled and reamed in the end of three of the segments at different depths. The bar ends containing the female receiver features were then turned to accept caps that will be pressed on at a later date. Mating caps were then fabricated out of the exact same OD material, 6061 aluminum half inch, drilled and reamed for a press fit over the end that was just prepared on the other part. To eliminate any wiggle that may be present in the final assembly, a small piece of foam was inserted in the female bore on these parts. And then the kicker, a rare earth magnet inserted into that bore. Now if all goes well, this magnet should go just below the surface, which it does, and return. There you go. That will take the wiggle out. Now we press the cap on and blend the OD. To aid in the illusion that this is actually a piece of raw material pulled off the shelf, I left the part off tit on the cap just to add some realism to the final assembly. And although it may not be apparent on camera, this does act like a spring. And this front diameter is relieved about 50% of the way to the shoulder, a little bit smaller than the cap that's going to be pressed on, so that this goes on nice and straight to begin with. There's no reason to have a full engagement unless you're going to have a high stress area, which this is not. A little cosmetic blending to get the seam out of there and we're going to age this a little bit with some scotch bread and some handling and it should look exactly like a piece of raw material off the shelf. Once the parts are assembled and everything is grained out and scratched up, the seam is gone, the tit is still there so it looks like a regular piece of aluminum. <laughs> it's magnetic. I hope that wasn't too frustrating to see initially, but that's how it was done. And by calculating certain lengths, certain distances along the material that I used, I was able to cut it up and section it and still maintain the magnetic properties. So that's how it was done, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I do appreciate your time. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you're well and happy and safe. I know I'm smiling. Take care, guys. Joe Pye, Dance Innovations in Texas. I'm out. I want to take this out of frame for a second. Uh, leave it right there. Oh, sorry about that. Back of the lathe.
Okay, guys, the final element in the deception of that particular demagnetizing unit was a second piece of aluminum that I had in my back pocket that I did the old sleight of hand on. As soon as I waved this thing across the demagnetizer, just for a fraction of a second, you might have picked up on it. It's out of frame. I swapped them, and the one that was waved across the demagnetizer was this one. This is truly a piece of aluminum. It's got no magnetic properties at all. As aluminum should. And uh, that's how it was done. <laughs> April Fool, right? Why not? Went, a, went overboard thinking this one up. Thanks a lot, guys. I do appreciate you watching. I do appreciate your patience and uh, all the comments. Stay well.